All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a bit more of a chilled out video today, just the one item on the menu. And it's from this book by Paul Hollywood, who I'm sure many of you will know in the UK from the Great British Bake Off, which we just had the series finish here in the UK. Congratulations to Peter. What a great bakery was all the way through and the youngest ever winner of the Great British Bake Off in history. So that's awesome. Some good news finally for 2020. Uh, this book I've had in my possession now for about, oh, it must be a good eight to ten years now. Um, it came out, I think, in the early days of the Bake Off. And I decided to make some bread today because that's Port Hollywood's specialty. Um, I've gone with focaccia. And as you can see, it's a wonderful golden bread that's easy to make, really. Um, and I'll show you exactly how in this video. Um, it's kind of like an airy bread, um, very light, flavoured with pretty much whatever you want. So rosemary um oregano i think that's what i'm doing in this case um you can put cherry tomatoes in mozzarella all sorts of things the focaccia in italy obviously is the best but this pretty much comes close as a home version um so as you can see it's just a simple case of starting with the base ingredients so flour uh, yeast salt uh, a bit of warm water interestingly poor hollywood uh, wants you to use cool water. I find it's not the best way to activate the yeast, so I go with warm water and then just knead it until it comes together as a dough. The focaccia dough's got to be kind of wet really it's hard to describe it it's wetter than a normal bread dough because it's got to be extra spongy when it comes out um, so i'm gradually adding the water because i've made the mistake in the past of putting all the water in and ending up with some sort of like dough soup which you really don't want to do um, and as you can see here just sort of working the dough in the bowl is the best way really otherwise it makes a hell of a mess on the counter and you've got to spend like 10 years trying to scrub it clean um, afterwards because you've forgotten about it you've gone away and it's dried and it's a nightmare so definitely use the bowl um, use this motion as well just kind of over and under um, just to sort of build up the gluten and it trust me it does kind of come away eventually from the sides of the bowl and here I'm just going to put some olive oil on the uh, on the worktop and uh, this just prevents it from sticking to the worktop and just like I said before getting that horrible kind of uh, dough sticky mess all over everywhere that's going to drive your partner mental um, and then just simply repeat the action that we were doing in the bowl just um, basically folding it over folding it under trying to build up the gluten and make it like a nice smooth dough So you do get a little bit of um, sticky mess on the bottom after a while. So a bit more olive oil is added um, just to make sure that it uh, doesn't stick to the counter. And as described before, make it a right mess and a right pain in the backside to clean off at the end. Um, but eventually the dough does come together. It's kind of smooth, uh, really nice to the feel. And all you need to do then is put it into an oiled bowl uh, again, just to make sure it doesn't stick and just cover it with cling film leave it for about an hour in a warm place and it'll rise like you won't believe it'll literally touch the top of the bowl Okay, so maybe not quite the top of the bowl but not a bad effort all the same so i was really happy with the rise on it all i need to do now is to line a tray just with um, a bit of parchment paper and all this does really is just to keep the focaccia from sticking to the base of the tray trust me it's a lot easier from trial and error before i've had to virtually chisel a focaccia off the bottom of a tray before and it's not a pleasant uh, task to do um, try as well to get a tray that's got a little bit of depth in it just so you can get a bit more of a rise um, so the bread's a bit more substantial. So now you can see that the focaccia is beginning to take shape. 
the dough's been sort of spread out to the edges of the tray and all I need to do now is just to wrap it up in cling film, leave it for an hour to prove and that's kind of the beauty of bread. You can just sort of do five, ten minutes work, leave it for an hour or so, go and get some other stuff done and then it's ready when you come back. So just like Paul Hollywood suggests, I've gone for rosemary, I've gone for oregano and rock salt to flavour the focaccia with. Classic flavourings, but like I said earlier, you can do all sorts of different things. If you've got kids, this is probably the most fun part you can get them involved in, making the dimples in the dough. Just literally taking oil and just stabbing your fingers into the dough to make these little holes. And what this is going to do is encase the filling, so the rosemary, the oregano, the olive oil and the rock salt. It looks great when it's finished as well. And as you can see, it's just a simple process of just sprinkling over the rosemary, the oregano, the sea salt, and that's pretty much the focaccia prepared and ready to go in the oven. So there's nothing like the smell of fresh bread straight out of the oven. This focaccia honestly was up there with one of the best I've ever made. And I've made this a few times from Paul's book and I've never been disappointed. You can see here the nice golden colour. It's fluffy on the inside and just perfect with a bit of olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, um, however you want to serve it. And it only takes a couple of hours really to make it. So I'd highly recommend the book. Obviously, Paul, we've seen a lot of him this summer on the Bake Off. So you can catch up with that through the BBC iPlayer, I believe, if you are in the UK. Um, and if you're not in the UK, you can order this book via Amazon. I'll give the link in the description box below. Like, comment, subscribe as normal, and I'll see you on the next video.